Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My bare face is making an appearance today because we have a very exciting video happening right now. We're gonna be reviewing the Anne Klutz Makeup Brush Beginner Set 2.0, I think that's the name. But th this is this is not from her first launch. I actually missed out on her first launch and then when she came out with the 2.0, I was like, you know what, maybe now would be a better time to buy because it would be an improved version of the first one, right? So this is what we are doing today. So I'm basically going to be doing my everyday, full it's not full face, everyday makeup look. And yeah, that's that's what this video is all about. So let's get started. I'm so excited to try these out because the first time that Anne Klutz released her brush set, I wasn't able to get a set because they were just they were just sold out all the time every time I tried to buy it. So I'm so excited that when she came out with the 2.01, I was still able to get my hands on it. Big congratulations to Anne Klutz for the success of her brand so far. I am sure that you're gonna have so many more milestones with this business that you have. I don't know her personally or anything. I just follow her on YouTube and I I just love her and I'm so excited to get into this but of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video leave me a comment down below you know we do a lot of fun stuff here on my channel so yeah let's get into these brushes can we just talk about this whole look I mean look at that this is a mood I really like that it even came with a makeup bag all of the brushes were neatly placed but you know I actually already washed these brushes and then I just put them back so just so you guys know I cleaned these already so now I you know so it, it's safe to use now <laughs> packaging wise I think it's really great that it even comes with a makeup bag and this looks like a complete brush set there are big brushes right over here and there are also smaller brushes look at these brushes they actually look way better in person than they do in the pictures um, they feel really soft I I just want to get this all over my face and just you know just put some makeup first up I'm gonna prime my face this is the body shop all-in-one five action perfecter insta blur universal shade primer <laughs> so this one I actually really like using this it comes out um, really weird looking but I really like how it feels on my skin what it does to my face so yeah this is a primer that I really do like using I'm trying to decide which of these brushes I would use for foundation it's actually nice that there's labels on these brushes like this one says powder brush flat angled kabuki this one has a blush brush and contour brush so I guess that's really helpful but for me I don't really follow what is usually written for brushes but yeah this one I'll definitely use this as a powder brush but maybe for foundation I'm gonna use the flat angled kabuki now usually for foundation I go for my real technique sponge but for today I'm gonna be trying out this brush oh, it feels really good and soft and it doesn't feel um, cheap <laughs> I decided to go with this foundation today this is the HD flawless foundation from absolute in New York now I remember really liking this at one point I really like the feeling of the brush on my face I mean it's it feels really really soft and just so you guys know my background my background on brushes is I usually use either Real Techniques brushes or brushes from Divisoria but this one it feels way better than a Divisoria brush I hate brushes that are scratchy and really harsh on your skin and this one it's wow it's super duper soft so far so good I'm actually really liking how this brush applied my foundation I don't see any streaks or anything and it looks pretty even and I did not have a hard time at all blending it out with this brush so I I actually really like it but you know I want to test it out uh, against what I usually use which is a real technique sponge so let's just do that on the other side I'll just I just put a little bit and let's put on this side as well there you go in terms of finish I think both sides of my face actually look exactly the same I expect I thought there would be some streaking on the side or you know something but it, it actually looks the same so I really really like this brush just because usually when I use brushes uh, there are streaks or weird stuff um, left here and then I have to go over it again with a sponge you know just like that but you know if you look at this they actually look the same so it's kind of like I, I used the sponge all over my face but I didn't I used the brush I also noticed that this one actually soaks up 
a lot of product as compared to the brush so you know if if you want to save on some product if you want the product to actually end up on your face and not on the the beauty tool that you use definitely go over this brush but i i have experienced other brushes that do soak up a lot of product but for some reason this one doesn't i think it's because it's very very dense but at the same time it's really really soft so I really like that. I, I had no problem whatsoever blending it out. I really like the overall experience of this brush. I mean, I don't know if this is really meant to be for foundation, but I mean, I like it. It feels really good. I I just can't stop <laughs> putting it all over my face. So yeah, um, so far so good. I've been liking this flat, what is it called? This flat angled kabuki brush so far. I mean, my foundation looks pretty good and this isn't even a full coverage foundation, but you know, it looks pretty good. I'm just gonna finish off the rest of my face using the brush. I am on my second layer of foundation right now and I, I'm falling in love with this brush even more. I even love putting it in those nooks and crannies, especially here around my nose. It, it really does blend the foundation out really, really well and I wish that I used a more full coverage foundation, but you know what? that's it I already put it on but anyway so now let's do concealer now I don't know about you guys but I usually use the same brush that I use for foundation and concealer just because you know I, I don't want to be washing a lot of brushes and I feel like it's the same thing anyway so for concealer this is my oh, this is my favorite this is the L'Oreal infallible full wear concealer actually I think I am running out but we're gonna we're gonna see how much I can put so I'll just put a bit under my eye because my eye bags are crazy. And then all of these pimples, you know, there are so many special guests on this video today. Look at this, just I'm dotting out all of the random pimples that just, I don't know. You know, my face was clear yesterday and then when I woke up this morning, there was just so much. I don't know what to do with, with all these pimples and stuff happening. So yeah, I'm gonna hit use the same brush this is blending out my concealer really really well i mean it the pimples are still covered thank god and this looks pretty good oh let's try it on my under eye okay this might be a little bit too big for my under eye but i i really don't mind actually the bigger the brush the faster it is to blend out so there we go i already blended out wow this concealer helped out with coverage so so much I mean I don't even see most of my pimples anymore but there are still some that are annoying and you know trying to come out but yeah so you know <laughs> I actually really like this for concealer as well because when I was doing my under eyes I ended up putting some on my lid as well which you know it's a good base for <laughs> when you put um your your eye makeup so yeah overall really really good I've just been using this one brush and I've been really really liking it yeah. So far, so good. Next up is powder. I'm gonna be using the Absolute New York HD Flawless Powder Foundation. Oh, what's a power powder foundation? Did not notice that when I got it, but anyway, we're gonna be using it. So this one is the Anne Klutz Powder Brush. This looks very, very similar to my Real Techniques powder brush, so I'm excited for this. I really like that shape that it has. So usually I start with my under eyes. I set my under eyes first. This is a great brush. I mean, I might even like this even more than my Real Techniques powder brush, but I mean, wow, this, I mean, look at that. Easy, just the easiest way to put powder all over my face, and I really like that it's big. I mean, so far I've just been using big brushes, but wow, I mean, for your base, it's really, really great to have big brushes just so, you know, you don't have to keep blending and you know using the brush for, for so long so yeah I mean look at that my powder is done done with my base so now we're gonna go to contour so just to make things easy I, I just got out my Coco collection um, face palette so there's already a brush and contour and highlight in here look at that I I'm gonna finish <laughs> this contour pretty soon okay so let's try the contour brush even though typically I would also use the same brush for contour but you know so for the sake of this video, let's try a different brush. So this one is the contour brush. That's what it says. So let's let's try this out. So it has like a, it's very dense but also still very soft, and it has an angle going on. So I'm guessing I have to do, yeah. I I think that's that's what we're gonna do. Oh, 
wow that is that's a lot <laughs> this brush um i underestimated this brush boom look at that that my contour looks pretty good i mean that just took a few seconds and my contour is is nice <laughs> usually i would have to do this multiple times just to get this effect actually it's too intense now that i'm looking at it but you know we can fix that we can blend that out but i also put on my chin then let's put some on my forehead just to you know blend it into the hairline wow i am contoured like that that is an intense contour so we're going to um diffuse the situation <laughs> so i'm just going to be taking the powder blush a uh, powder brush there you go looks so much better this is so great at blending i i really like the what's happening to my face right now oh i should do my nose contour let's see let's look at these little brushes it says a big blending brush and a small eyeshadow blender okay maybe this is what i can use same thing i'm gonna get the <laughs> kylie contour then let's do my nose Ooh, looks pretty good i mean i was a bit scared because this is um a bit of a thick brush but it looks pretty good actually i really like that these brushes pick up a lot of product and it just it brings the pigment to my face you know it just look at that look at my nose you can see it now <laughs> you can see my nose you now we're just gonna use the same contour shade on my eye just because this is what i usually do just so my eyes and my nose and my cheeks just all tie in together ah this is nice this is a really good brush that was that was so easy to blend usually i have to do that multiple times what did i say <laughs> usually i have to do the blending thing multiple times but do you guys see that? that that didn't take as long as i usually do boom actually this is already a good look i can i can leave now but no we still have more brushes to test oh let's try blush okay so i'm gonna try this blush from this kylie kit i'm gonna be using this powder brush there we go is this oh wait no there's a there's a blush brush wait where is it this one this is a blush brush okay i'm a little bit scared to use this as a blush brush just because i feel like it's gonna have like an intense effect on my face i usually use this as my blush brush. you know what? Let, let's try it let's just give it a chance okay Ooh. I'm so scared okay i will try this blush brush okay let me warm it up on my hand because i'm a little bit scared okay so i'll try it on this side and if i don't like it i'm using the other one okay here it goes oh gosh that's 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 a lot no 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 no. we are using this one i am using this um uh, what is this the powder brush there we go there i mean you guys see the difference i would use the blush brush as a foundation brush over a, a brush to put my blush if you guys wow that sounds like a tongue twister this is intense i mean look at that uh but this one i mean it's nice it's i mean you look like you're blushing it's it's just less harsh i highly recommend this brush for blush but i don't know it could just be me it could be my personal preference but i mean doesn't this look better than this and now i have to fix this like, i just i have to blend this out because i want my face to be even <laughs> typically with blush i like starting at this part like on the closer to the edge of my face and then just taking it to the middle yeah take it to the middle then we can add like a a blunt brush a what a bl a bl a drunk blush effect just put a little bit all good with the blush what's next okay let's do my eyes um, okay, so for the eyes, I wanted to use this palette. I, I really love this one. This is the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette. Look at all of these beautiful shades. But I'm just gonna do a simple look with this. Okay, so this one is a big blending brush. Should I use the... Yeah, okay, you know what? Let's test this out. Let's use this big blending brush. But you know what? Looking at this, I should have used this to powder the my under eye. Just just putting it out there dark brown shade right there so i'm just gonna use that a little bit and i'll put it on my crease Ooh, this is a big brush huh 
Wow. I think you can actually just do one shade and then you're done. I'm really liking the eye brushes because it 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 doesn't make the eyeshadow go like clumpy or it just blends out the shadow really really well. And I have used brushes that that are just awful and you know, it just doesn't look that good, but this looks pretty good. And I'm using a really big brush, which I don't normally do. I usually do precise brushes, but this is really good. I like this. Let's go back to the um, small eye shadow brush, and let's go with a more intense color. Maybe this one right here. That might be a bit more intense. You know, I'm just gonna mix these two colors. Ooh, whoa, you guys see that? <laughs> wow, that is intense. That is... might be too much. Ooh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna go back to the big brush and just blend that out. This is a really great eyeshadow blending brush. This... what is this one? This is the big one. Yeah, this is the big blending brush. Oh, I love this one. It just makes everything look so smooth and so natural looking. I mean, look at that. Look at my eye look. Okay, so now I'm gonna do... whoops, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna take this shade. There you go, the shiny one. And put it... In the, in the mid on my lid but I'm gonna try to use one of the brushes here this is an eyeshadow shader brush and a concealer oh there's there was a concealer but anyway uh, so I'm gonna use this eyeshadow shader brush uh, that looks so good huh it's not as intense as I'm used to um, I usually apply this shade with my finger so I'll just show you guys the difference oh there is such a big difference you guys see that I mean, this is intense versus using the brush. So I'm just gonna stick with my finger on this one. Maybe for metallics, it's really just best to use your finger. But if you're using like a matte shadow, yeah, for sure. I mean, use that brush. Now I'm gonna go into this, to my favorite, the blending brush, and just blend that into the entire, into the crease. So that was really, really easy to blend. And I, I like... I like how this eye is looking. Alright, so let's try a different brush. What is this? Concealer brush. Uh, yeah. Small angled brush. What would this be for? Oh, this is probably for eyeliner, which I typically do not do. But, you know, just for the sake of this video, let's try it out. I'll take this really dark shade. Oh, I hope I don't mess things up. I'll do like a little tip here. Oh, that looks pretty good. That wasn't that hard. Oh, that really makes a big difference in my eye. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna use my shadow to do eyeliner. Oh, I hope I can make it even on the other side. <laughs> now I remember why I don't do eyeliner a lot. It's kinda hard to even things out. Is it even? A little bit. I'm bad at this. I am bad at this, but the brush is pretty good. I mean, it's applying the, the eyeshadow really well. Okay, so this is the best I can do with my eyes, so if it looks a bit wonky, that's not the brush's fault. That is that is totally on me, and I'm just not that good at making my eyeliner even. But this is, I mean, if you don't usually, if you're not used to doing your eyeliner, this, this is a really great brush. I mean, it helped me so much. It, it just made it so much easier. So yeah, I'm... I'm I'm happy I tried this out. Oh, we should do my my under... What? <laughs> what did I say? I'm gonna be doing the lower lash of my eye. So I'm gonna be taking the same shade. Just put it right here. Smoke it out. Oh, you know what? That makes such a big difference if you guys don't smoke out your lower lashes. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys should try it because it kind of hides your your eye bags but at the same time it really emphasizes your eyes makes you look a little bit more sultry too whoa I see some fallout that's my bad that's from the that's from the shiny the metallic eyeshadow so let's just take the foundation brush and clean that up yeah yeah done cleaned it up wow so these brushes are also really good for fallout like it, it really does remove it Okay, what's next? Oh, my eyebrows. Okay, there is no eyebrow, uh, eyebrow brush. What? I can't, I can't speak today. Anyway, so there's no eyebrow brush in here. So I'm just gonna use my own spoolie. Spoolie it up and then fill it in. 
So I'm gonna be using my Nishido black brown eye pencil. So this is how it looks like. Oh, I have to sharpen this, but you know, I can do that later. I usually start from the middle and then there, as you can see. You just really draw that line first. Then fill in the rest. Do my brows look <laughs> even? I don't know, it kind of, I don't know, I, I feel like I should rename this video to a wonky full face of makeup because I don't think my eyeliner is even and I'm pretty sure my brows aren't even too. But anyway, for highlights, you know what, I think this would be a really great brush for highlight. This is the big blending brush. I think this is one of my favorite brushes. <laughs> I mean, I'm using it so, so much. Alright, so for highlight, I'm just gonna take this same shade right here, the one I put on my lid. I just, this is just my favorite shade. So I'm gonna put my highlight right here. Ooh, that looks, that looks good. That is the glow that I've been looking for. I mean, look at that. This is also a really great brush for highlight. Just because it doesn't give you like a harsh line. Oh, let's put some over here. Ooh, that is, that is pretty. I'm pretty much done with my face. I just lack lipstick so I'm using the BLK Latte All Day Lip Lipstick. This is a really nice dark brown shade with a bit of pink. This is a cute lip color. I mean, look at that. Matches my top. <laughs> this is it. This is the look that I created with the Anne Klutz brushes. So I'm, I'm actually really happy about it. I had such a great experience with every single brush that I did use. I did not use all of the brushes in the set. The ones I did not use are just these two. So this one is a fan brush which you typically use for highlighter and my ex my past experiences with this type of brush I just I just don't like it for highlighter so I, I just didn't use that and this one is the concealer brush which I did not see when I put on my concealer so that was my bad but also for concealer I don't usually use these types of brushes anyway these other brushes though that I did use all of them are really amazing I mean I had such a great experience using it today for the very first time all of these brushes are really, really soft and I mean the quality of it is is pretty good. I mean, usually I would use brushes from Divisoria or Real Techniques brushes and I have to say, these actually feel more high-end than the Divisoria brushes. They don't feel cheap whatsoever. There's a bit of weight on them but they're not too heavy so it's just overall a really really good brush set. These are actually on the same level as my Real Techniques brushes. Overall, I would definitely recommend this entire brush set to you guys. I mean, it is such an easy thing to use. It's very high quality. It's super duper soft, which is something that I really look for in makeup brushes. It, it just made blending so much easier and I actually put on my makeup pretty fast just because these brushes just blend them out really fast, really easily. It just it just makes your makeup so much better and I had such a fun time using this and I'm pretty sure if you guys are beginners or you know even professionals, you guys are gonna love using this brush set. I mean, I'm really loving it and this is just my first time using it so I'm definitely gonna be reaching for these over and over again. I do recommend though that you don't use the blush brush for blush. I think this would be a really great foundation or powder brush. That's just how I personally am going to use this blush brush and I do recommend the powder brush. Yeah, this is the powder brush for, you know, of course powder and put on the powder really well. Powder, I think contour, this would be great too. And of course, blush. It just gives you a nice seamless powder application of of things. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys on my next one. Mwah.